Hey friends, Lucian here with the Bullish Bears team. I wanted to make this video on interactive brokers, uh, hotkeys, and how to get them set up. So I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to get uh, your hotkeys set up with them. Uh, it's one of the great features of interactive brokers is being able to use hotkeys. And they also have editable hotkeys where you can just change it and you can do like, uh, you know, buying five cents above the ask or selling five cents below the bid or vice versa. That that way to give yourself a cushion uh, so you're not just buying at the ass or selling at the bid or vice versa. Uh, so they have nice, uh, you know, editable functions to be able to do with your hotkeys, uh, which is a great feature with them. Um, so this is how you get set up here with them. I am on my virtual account right now. And what you want to do is you want to go up to file and you want to go down to global configuration. And right where you see hotkeys over here, uh, this is where you can kind of get things set up. I really have only honestly looked at buying and selling. Uh, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other ones that you can do. Uh, it's a little bit cumbersome, but I, you know, I'm an intraday trader, intraday trader more myself. Uh, so I focus more on, you know, doing things with buying and with selling. Uh, so you'll see down here. Uh, the ones I have set up, I have buy limit at the ask price or sell limit at the bid price. And then I have buy five cents above uh, the ask and then sell five cents uh, below the bid. Uh, that's for getting in and out of uh, out of position. So if I want to, you know, cover my position or sell and uh, I want to get out kind of quickly, it gives myself a nice five cent buffer just in case uh, so I can get out of my position. So it's all a matter of what your strategy is. If you just want to buy at the ass, sell at the bid, if you want to give yourself a buffer, it's again all a matter of your preference on what you want to do. So here's how I got mine set up here. Uh, to do a buy, you click on buy and you want to do shortcut. So you want to create a shortcut up here and then you'll see where it says up here, it'll say record what you want to do is you want to decide what shortcut that you want to use and how you want to get it set up uh, and just remember it. So that's all a matter of your preference and what you want to do, whether you want to use the control key or the shift key or the function key, it's all up to you and what you want to do. But you press record and then you want to uh, basically enter in the hotkey and how you want it to, uh, to be. So I'll do, for instance, I'll do uh, well, normally at the buying, I have control A, but you know, if you want just for this one, for the sake of the video, let's just do control S. So you'll see right here, control S is my hotkey. Uh, and then what you want to do is go over to customize. And at this point, this says buy or sell, whatever you want to do, um, size, uh, you can have it as default, absolute or available. I just leave it as default. Um, you know, order type, I put it as limits, but you know, there's other, uh, you know, drop downs that you could do, but I do it as limit. And this right here, uh, is the drop down where it's bid, ask, last, um, none, bid, ask, midpoint. I put it as, uh, you know, ask. So this would be buying at the ask. And then this is if you want to do an offset amount. Uh, where you could do up or down at the offset. I'm just going to leave it at this for right now. Uh, and then you see this button right here. This is very important to realize whether you want a confirmation box at all or not. I do it as transmit the order instantly. So that basically means it's not going to ask me for a confirmation window. Usually when you do hotkeys, you don't want a confirmation window. You just want the order to go through automatically. So this is where it's important to check that box off if you want it to go through automatically. And then you press OK. So then you'll see down here, you'll see buy at the limit, control S. So that's a hotkey that I had set up. So if I click on it here, I can go and I can delete it. Or if I want to go in and edit it, I can just click configure and just go back up to customize and edit it. So that's uh, really how um, you set it up here. So now just to go show you here, if I want to configure it and change it and give myself kind of a buffer up or down, I go back up here to customize. And then I can go to, you know, let's say an offset amount. So let's say I wanted to buy five cents above the bid. I would just do plus, uh, where is it here? Plus 0 0.05 and then hit OK. And then you'll see here, just like I have it up here, buy limit 
uh, 0 0.05, so this will buy 5 cents above the bid. If I want to do, um, you know, configure it and buy 5 cents below the bid, um, I can do negative 0 0.05, okay, apply, so it's buying 5 cents below, um, I'm sorry, the ask, not the bid. So buys 5 cents below the ask. Uh, so that's how you go in and edit it and configure it. Uh, I'll go in here, I'll delete it, I'll do a sell one. If you click on sell, create shortcut, let's just do, oh yeah, see that? I can't do anything when I'm in there. That's why you need to press record. Um, and then I'll just do, uh, <clears throat> I did, I have sh uh, shift S as mine right now. So let's just do, uh, I'll just do the reverse, control S, um, you know, customize. This will be to sell. Uh, default, I'll just leave it as, or I could do default, absolute, or available shares. I'll leave it as default. Order type, I'm going to do limit. Uh, limit price, I'm going to do bid this time. Um, and at this point, I can just leave it um, just to sell at the bid. Or I can do a minus 0. Point, let's say, 1, 0. So sell 10 cents below the bid. Let's say you really needed to get out. Uh, then you want to make sure you click transmit the order instantly as long as you don't want a confirmation window when you go to sell uh, or when you go to buy or for this instance it would be for to sell and then you would just click OK and there you go you have control S um, you know with selling 10 cents below the bid so I'm going to delete those just so I don't get caught up on it but um, at this point you'll see these are the ones I have set up um, I just keep it simple. And so at this point, um, you know, if I click, here's a couple things that's very important to realize with interactive brokers hotkeys. <clears throat> if you click in this box up here, the order entry window, if I click control H right now, you're not seeing anything pop up. Control H would show me the list of my hotkeys. But if I click down here in the box, You'll see Control H shows the hotkeys. You see that, and this is very, very important to always remember with interactive brokers. I don't really like this part of it; it's a bit frustrating. But you have to make sure that you click within uh, a chart window. I believe right here, also within uh, level two. Um, interesting. I think I'm not sure. I never use the hotkeys within clicking in level two for hotkeys. I always use it within the charts. Uh, let me click over in this box over here. Control H. Yep. So it'll work over in this area for your watch list, your chart windows. If you click down here in the activity and orders window, Control H, it doesn't work. Again, up here in the order entry window, doesn't work. So you have to always remember to click basically within a chart area right here, control H, to make sure you're getting in and out of positions. A little bit frustrating. I don't like that. I've reached out to them to see if they're going to do anything to change it. But that's something to just always remember with interactive brokers uh, when you're using their hockey. It's great to use them, uh, but that's a minor frustration. So um, that's how you get set up with hotkeys. Again, go back up to file, global configuration, hotkeys, and then here's the area, and then you create them, and down here is where they are at, the ones you've created, and click on it, and you can configure or delete them. So that's how simple it is to get uh, them set up with interactive brokers.